CataractCoach.com, FACO with a hydrous glaucoma implant. Remember, Cataract Coach is your source for great glaucoma learning too. Cataract Coach is everything cataract, but also glaucoma, cornea, refractive, anything anterior segment. So here's the case. Patients already had the FACO done. You can see the lens in the bag. Now, hey, did I tell you about our podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology? It'll make you more successful in your career. I promise. Check it out. Anyway, back to our case here. So let's see, making another paracentesis right there. This is the end of the cataract done. Eye on the bag. Eyes full of viscoelastic. And now here's some viscoelastic on the cornea. Now, of course, this patient's head is turned away from you and the microscope is tilted towards you. And now you can put on your gonio prism and look at that. You get a beautiful view of the angle. Here it goes. Look at that. Very nice. Take your time here. Get it all centered up. Get your focus where you want it. And now you can insert your Hydrus device here. So Hydrus is a device that's uh, pretty popular for MIG surgery, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. And this is well within the realm of any anterior segment or cataract surgeon. In fact, studies have shown that most glaucoma procedures are not done by glaucoma specialists. They're done by cataract surgeons. So you can see here, look at the angle anatomy. looks great. Now, importantly... Look how there's no blood in the interface of the gonio prism on top of the cornea. So if you have an incision that, you know, barely nicks limbo vessels, make sure you wash off all the blood so you have a nice pristine view like this. Okay, now putting this hydrous device inside the eye. Uh, you want to get those bubbles out. There we go. There we go. And then getting this angled here, and we can slowly start to advance it. Let's see. Getting into good position. There we go. And here comes the device. And it should float in very easily and glide in without any resistance. If you feel a lot of resistance, you may be in the wrong position or not at the correct tissue plane. So there it is. And now using the candle to help push it in a little bit further. Look at that. Easily done here. Very nice. Look at that. Push it in. Make sure you're content with its position and placement. Now at this point, you can go ahead and put the scope back in position Tilt the patient's head back to where you need it to be. And now you can put in the eye probe and remove the viscoelastic. So again, you can see microscope being moved. You bring the patient's head back into position. And here is our traditional view like we do for cataract surgery. Help center this up a little bit. And now put the eye probe in the eye. Remove your viscoelastic. Seal up the incisions. Call this a day. Patient's going to have a nice outcome here. So definitely we're featuring more and more glaucoma content here on Cataract Coach. Again, we also have great cornea content and, of course, refractive content. So cataract coach is everything anterior segment. Cataract, cornea, glaucoma, refractive, and more, anything anterior segment. And then we do have a new channel coming very soon, the retinarounds.com channel. The retina channel is going to be for everything retina and posterior segment. Retina, vitreous, macula. And that channel is going to be, of course, retina surgery, but it's also situations where we'll have great teaching even for a general ophthalmologist about management of various retinal diseases. So here at the end of the case, beautifully done. I like that Rexus overlap on the optic 360. That's beautifully positioned here. I also like the choice of a monofocal IOL, which you see there, which is great, a great option certainly for patients with glaucomatous disease. In fact, for my preferences, if you have significant glaucoma, you should really just get a monofocal lens. I'm not a fan of putting in a trifocal or multifocal or an extended depth of focus lens in someone with glaucoma or any other types of uh, macular diseases. I think you're best served by getting all those photons focused at one focal point, and that would be with a monofocal lens like you see here. So again, at the end of the case here, those two pairs of these are sealed up. Get the main incision, seal that up as well. You can uh, flush out, make sure you have no more viscoelastic in the eye. And the page is going to have a beautiful outcome. So again, remember, if you want more glaucoma content, it's on cataractcoach.com. Leave YouTube for a second. Go to the actual website, cataractcoach.com. Click on the full list of videos, and there's a full category of glaucoma cases. Check it out, cataractcoach.com.